My day normally begins at about 7.45 when I arrive at school and after um, taking off my uh, winter boots and jacket, uh, I go to the office and uh, begin to check on what needs to be done for the day. Well, normally everything is prepared the day before, um, but sometimes uh, absences may occur and I begin to start preparing cover. Uh, my first meeting uh, will be with uh, Stephen Bouchard, our uh, assistant head teacher, and we catch up on what needs to be covered for years seven to 11. And after that, I catch up with uh, Jack Meadows, who's involved with the IB diploma program at years 12 and 13. And there's normally a lot to speak about to make sure the day and the week and the term um, are set up. What's the context that we start to film in a few months of the speech? Alright, so what's... The setting is in London, but the audience is Empire, you know, it's throughout the Dominions. Okay. Depending on my schedule, um, today I was teaching year 10 in the morning. Uh, at the moment we are looking at the film The King's Speech. The students are studying rhetorical devices and at the end of this unit I usually show them this film to speak about speaking, developing confidence and we usually do speak about the context of the text type, in this case it is a film and normally the students begin to see that anyone can have issues with speaking and it helps them in their preparation for presentations and the study of rhetorical devices. This is a busy day today as the year 10 and 12 reports are being published. Uh, later today they will go to students and in letter format and all parents will be emailed copies of reports later today. This follows with online consultations which are taking place all the way up to Thursday. On Friday we finally break for the end of the term after a tough year and a tough term. Later in the day we also have an award ceremony. The first award ceremony is for year 7 to 11 students. Mr. Bouchard has been busy preparing commendations for students to reward them for their excellent work throughout the term. This will be an online ceremony and students will be in their bubbles. Mr. Bouchard will call the students during period three and he will call out the winners of the rewards for the term. They will be presented with uh, gifts from the school to represent and show their very hard work throughout the term. It's a, it's a good day today. Later again after lunchtime, our IB students have an award ceremony in the dining hall. This will be led by their coordinator, Mr. Meadows, who will speak about all the work they've done throughout the term for their diploma group and specifically for all the year groups in the school, inspiring them to see what excellent students we have and what students can become years later from year seven upwards. After the award ceremony, I'll be involved in online meetings. And this is today related to year 10 students who some parents have asked to talk about their upcoming reports and their progress in the term. This is generally a positive way to end the term and parents are secure in the knowledge that their students are being met with their educational needs and it's a nice way to sign off before we go to break. For me after these calls, I will be preparing for tomorrow and ultimately for the next term. This involves mock exams for our year 11 and 13 students and we need to ensure as teachers and staff that we're ready for any outcome, specifically in relation to the pandemic. And every exam needs to be recorded 
and scanned and it involves a lot of administrative work and all teachers are quite busy even though we're nearly finished. So just before the end of the day, I will be making some phone calls to other managers at BIS, checking in with the administrators and ensuring that all is ready for the next day of school, but particularly now, next term, as students prepare for their mock exams. Once everything is prepared as reasonably as possible, it's time to go home.